Okay, here we have the cylinder completely put back together. You can see the clevis at the end is screwed on. The air hoses are attached, Teflon taped and attached. One thing I forgot to mention earlier was these bolts that hold the caps on. The four there and the four there. We want to make sure to put plenty of anti-seize on there so we don't have the same problem we did. As you can see this side here, we actually had to remove two of the bolts. One had to be cut off. The other one was gummed up. You can see it gets some corrosion. So if you don't anti-seize these bolts, they rust up and they become problematic to remove. Once this thing is lubed up and installed correctly, this you can manually pull this ram out. And you probably can't hear it in the video, but you can hear the air moving from the different ports. If it moves that, that smoothly, this ram should be able to be pre-installed into the unit and operate correctly. And that is how you disassemble and maintain this Parker ram assembly. This ram is discontinued, so you may not see any new ones come up, but there are these ramps out there, and they do need to be maintained. Again, we've got our lube, which you use um, liberally inside, and I see that for the bolts new seals and uh, on these these end caps make sure you don't over tighten them specs call for 32 inch pounds not a whole lot of torque on there there's o-rings there to keep it from se the, the seal so you don't have to gorilla tight those bolts and create problems but again this is the finished assembly and it's ready for reinstallation